Hello everyone, today I'm going to recommend some Halloween reads to you. I know it's only the beginning of October and obviously Halloween is right at the end of this month but I thought if I got this video up now it would give you a bit of time to decide whether you wanted to put any of these books on your Halloween TBR. As I read a lot of these sort of horror paranormal type books I felt I was in a pretty good position to share with you guys some of my favourites and hopefully make you want to read them too. So I'm going to start with two books by one of my favourite authors ever and if you've been watching me for any length of time you will know that this guy is one of my favourite authors ever and that is of course Stephen King and my two favourite Stephen King books are Pet Cemetery and The Shining and I honestly couldn't choose between these two which one is my favourite Stephen King book. Um, I haven't read all of his books um, because he's written so many books, novels, novellas, short stories that it would literally take me years of solid Stephen King reading to get through them all but I have read I would say maybe 20, 30 of his um, books and short stories so I do feel I am in pr a pretty good position to say that these two are pretty damn good. Um, the Shining is obviously also a classic, um, very famous horror film with Jack Nicholson in it directed by Stanley Kubrick and I believe that Pet Cemetery does have a film as well but I think it's a very kind of low budget um, 80s type horror affair and that kind of puts me off seeing it because I don't want it to ruin my love of this book um, but if you guys have seen the film of Pet Cemetery, let me know if it is any good and um, maybe I will watch it um, but from what I've heard of it I kind of I'm a little bit reluctant to see it if I'm honest. Um, both of these books are um, very very genuinely scary books. I know that's quite a big thing to say because I know a lot of people don't really tend to scare easily and I personally don't really understand that but um, these two are really honestly genuinely horror scary books. Um, so if you don't scare, if you do scare quite easily, I probably would not recommend these at all. Um, I also love so many other Stephen King horror books. I love Misery. I love Carrie. I love Christine. I love Dolores Claiborne. I love Thinner. I love um, so many countless others, Rose Madder, Lizzie's Story, so many that I could recommend to you but these two are definitely my two favourites so really really recommend them if you are wanting to get into horror at all. The next one I want to recommend to you is a book that I read earlier on this year and I did write a full review of it so I would leave a link to that review in the description down below and that is Hex by Thomas Oldie Hervelt. I got this as an arc from Hodder earlier on this year and I know I talked about it when I got it then. Um, this actually reminded me a lot of Stephen King which is probably one reason why I did enjoy it so much. It's set in a small town that is haunted by a witch and because she's been haunting this town for years and years they sort of just live their lives around her um, so she will kind of appear in random places and they will just pretty much ignore her which does sound pretty funny to think about and there is definitely some funny comedic um, elements to this but it's definitely not comedy horror um, there is a very tragic story at the center of it involving the teenagers of the town they film a video with the witch in it and put it online and because the town tends to keep this witch a secret from outsiders um, they get into trouble for that there's a very very dramatic um, horrifying ending which was brilliant it was the perfect way to end this book um, as I said I will leave my full review of this book in the description down below so if it does sound like your sort of thing maybe give that a read before you um, start reading it so you can read my full thoughts on it so yeah the next one I want to recommend is a classic that a lot of people will know of in some capacity and that is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Um, I tend to steer clear of vampires because I feel like a lot of modern vampire series um, kind of depict vampires as these beautiful, sexy, alluring type creatures and I just feel like that's not what vampires are supposed to be. They're supposed to be terrifying repelling type creatures you're not supposed to be attracted to or want to become a vampire they're supposed to be terrifying and lonely souls but the souls that you don't want to sort of be friends with and be in a relationship with certainly um obviously dracula was written either in late 1700s or early 1800s and dracula is definitely a very very scary creature um so if you are looking for some real scary vampire fiction where vampires are what I think they are supposed to be, I would definitely recommend um, Dracula. Obviously it's the source material for so many vampire series, um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you want some 
actual scary vampires. So, yeah. The next one I want to recommend is actually a YA book. So it's probably a good choice if you read a lot of YA, but you want to start dipping into horror. And that is Monster by CJ Skews. I read this last year sometime. It's about a group of girls who live in a boarding school. And for various reasons, they are all spending Christmas at school. Um, the school is this wonderful, great old building set in a dark, creepy forest. Um, they do have a teacher with them, so they're not quite on their own. But um, they certainly feel very alone when um, they start hearing noises outside in the night. There is rumours of a monster roaming the forests and people start going missing. Weird things start happening and um, they become intent on solving this mystery. And we as readers become intent on solving the mystery as well. I remember I wanted to get to the end of this book just to tie things up and just to solve the mystery. It was very, very talented, suspenseful, exciting writing. Really, really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, probably a great Halloween choice if you do read a lot of YA um, so yeah definitely definitely recommend it obviously there's a load of mystery to it as well which I really really enjoyed the next one I want to recommend is Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. Um, Joe Hill is actually Stephen King's son. He also wrote Horns, which was recently turned into a film with Daniel Radcliffe in it. Um, I have read Horns, but I haven't seen that film. Um, so Heart Shaped Box was the first Joe Hill book I read. Um, he's definitely inherited his a um, his talent, his father's talent for horror writing. Um, Heart Shaped Box is about a guy who used to be a rock star, um, but he's now old and he is retired but he's always had this love of um, anything to do with the macabre or the paranormal or the occult and he's a great collector of um, artifacts to do with everything like that um, and he sees that somebody is selling a ghost and he can't resist this so he buys this ghost and what turns up at his house is a heart-shaped box with a suit in it and a letter saying that this ghost is attached to the suit and um, basically this ghost infests his house infests his life um, terrible things start happening he starts to regret his purchase definitely um, this is um, another book that will definitely keep you up all night I think it's a genuinely scary book so if you are looking for some genuine horror definitely recommend Joe Hill definitely recommend Heart Shaped Box the next couple that I want to recommend are maybe for a slightly younger audience this one is We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. I've not read a lot of Shirley Jackson, but I have heard really good things about her. I've read this one and I've read a couple of her short stories. This one is about a um, family of um, two sisters and it's either their father or their uncle, I think. Um, but they live in this house um, in this town and um, basically um, there used to be other members of this family there used to be two parents and another brother but this town have shunned them because um, one of the sisters was accused of poisoning the missing family members um, so they live as recluses in isolation and um, um, one of the sisters does occasionally go into the town but she's always taunted and um, people say things about them and things like that um, it's a very tragic story but there is obviously the mystery behind it um, from what I remember it was quite a long time ago I read it from what I remember a boy um, befriends one of the sisters and he um, obviously starts to find out exactly what happened in this family it's a very tragic story um, but it does have that sort of eerie um, spooky type feel to it which I feel would be great for Halloween so yeah um, the next one I want to recommend is actually one of my very favourite films and that is A Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Um, again, it's not really horror or paranormal but it is certainly very very creepy it's a middle grade book about Coraline who is a young girl who moves into a new house and she basically finds this door into this parallel universe where her parents are um, much more attentive towards her but they have these creepy button eyes and obviously the more Coraline um, visits this um, parallel universe, the more her alternative parents want her to stay, um, only if she agrees to have buttons sewn over her eyes. So that in itself is a very um, creepy concept, but it's a great little... Um, 
um, a kind of Halloween type creepy read for um, maybe younger people or people who like reading middle grade and that kind of thing but I really really recommend the film I have read the book as well but the film is definitely one of my favourite ever films so yeah and the last book that I want to recommend, well, books in general, really, that I want to recommend in this video is the Supernatural books and, of course, the Supernatural TV show. Um, not only do you get plenty of paranormal um, excitement, but you also get the Winchester Brothers. I mean, you know, it's a no-brainer, really. You just have to read some Supernatural and Halloween or watch some um but yeah these are all obviously um fan fiction books so they're not like the greatest books ever written but i really enjoy them um i would only recommend them i know i've said this before i probably would only recommend them if you're already a fan of the tv show if you know nothing about supernatural you probably wouldn't get much out of these books at all because as i said they're not the greatest books ever they're just a way of getting more sam and dean into your life basically so um yeah and that is it for my Halloween recommendation video. Do you think you might pick up any of these this Halloween? Let me know. Um, maybe recommend me some books that I haven't uh, mentioned in this video. I would really, really appreciate that. Um, I will leave all my social media down below as normal. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye bye.